the flat. How did you get in? Key. I had a set cut when I had to wait for the gas board. Well, it's stupid only having one set. And when you decide you want me to move in with you, I'll need a key of my own. Important. Well, they want me to go for a scan. What does that mean? It's to make sure that the baby's all right. A bit like an x-ray without the x-ray. When is it? 19. I'll book a day off work and come with you. Look, it's all right. I can go by myself. Yeah, but you know what that doctor said? The more I'm involved, the less pressure there is on you. God, stop! <laughs> you asked for soup! I did not! What's going on? He chucked his dinner at me because he can't stand soup. Just look at the mess. If you weren't stuck in bed with that leg, I'd make you clear this lot up. You won't. You won't, because it's not my fault. I didn't mean it. You threw it. How could you not mean it? I have to say he's not keen on soup. That's no excuse, Mrs. Phillips. Just look at the state of me. All right, Max. All right, go and tidy yourself up and calm down. All right. Nurse Peters, uh, come in. Danny? Right, I'm going to ask your mum to take your sweets and things back home. With her. That's not fair! Oh, yes, it's it is. Easy. There are patients on this ward who need peace and quiet. You agreed if your behaviour didn't improve, you'd have to make certain sacrifices. To be honest, it looked like an accident to me. I mean, I think the tray just fell. Oh, we'll just have to be more careful in future, won't we? Come on. You have a kiss. This is really bugging me. Danny's old enough to know better. What's it all about? Can I say something? What is it, Katie? Well, Danny's mood swings, sleeplessness, general hyperactivity. I'm only saying because we did it in school last week, and Dr. What's it from St. Mary's reckons a dose of that stuff can be like hard drugs to someone who's allergic. Was that in English or is it me? Let's just say that was a rehearsal. Well, have you considered tartrazine and all that? And all that was dealt with last year. Well done, Katie. But he was sent to a food allergy specialist by his doctor. It's in his notes. And with respect, those symptoms could fit a hundred different conditions. Wait, that's just it. He didn't go. What do you mean? Well, I've been reading up on his file for me case study. The GP referred them, but they never turned up for the appointment. Are you sure? I'm certain I read the consultant's report. No, there isn't one, because they never went. Check it yourself. Trifle nice, was it? I'd like to say something to you. And I'm speaking as a mother of three, so forget me uniform for a minute. I wasn't straight. <laughs> Too much the opposite my mother used to say, but then it's now impossible to satisfy observers because they're not going through it, are they? What I mean is, I know what it's like. I know there's no formula. A quiet telling off works on Tuesday, but you have to resort to slap tans on Thursday. I know how hard it is, believe me. But have you ever thought of your role in all this, Mrs. Phillips? You're not doing him any favours, keep siding with him, you know. Danny's obviously got a problem that needs seen to, but you'll keep ignoring it. You'll have to come to grips, not just for Danny's sake, but for the rest of us, you included. And what's more, I'm telling you now, if he refers to me as fatso again, I'll sling his soup over his head. I don't sell fireworks to kids. You must be mistaken. I just watched the two of them buying bangers. Look, it's not always cut and dried. 
kids these days can look 16, no problem. Give all of the pair of the 12 in school uniform. You pass them coming through. Look, I've just come from the hospital. Young lad, no more than this high. Scarred for life because of this, this baboon. That's it. Come on, I'm not having you causing trouble in my shop. Out! You get me for this! You'll get what's coming if you don't keep your mouth shut. Right! Evening news, was it, Linda? What the hell are you trying to do? Obvious, isn't it? Tell your customers what a nice chap you are. Any luck, we'll have you bankrupt by weekend. You think they're going to take any notice of you? They did, didn't they? All right. All right, what do you want? I want you to act with the common sense you're born with. No more fireworks to kids. Fine. I'm on your word. I promise. Not that I trust you. But I'll be keeping an eye on you. And if you step out of line, I'll have the police on your doorstep. What's this? Morals are up. Is that right? Dead right. Maybe I've missed the trick. We could have charged it at the door. Yeah, well, I've got a season ticket, so count me out. Right then. Right then. How do you want to play it? Um, we want to alternate questions when we get a move. Please play in Bob Owens. I'd like a pee, please, Bob. This is a serious game. There's a lot at stake. Do I get first ice since I'm so old? I feel a bit, you know, intimidated, if that's what you call it. Sure. Three. One, two, three. Blue. Which European flag has stripes of red, white and green? Is it Germany? No, Italy. <laughs> I thought I knew that. Five. Pink. Which bunch of kids have a computer called Ralph? Uh, Which kids? Correct! Yay! Which day of the year do Britain's pyrotechnic displays take place on? Pyro war. I'm going to have to time you. The answer is... Bonfire night. Oh, the call fireworks pyrotechnic. How was I supposed to know? I wish to make a complaint. This is Phillips. This is Bev Morris. How do you do? Dr Morris is a specialist in food-related allergies. We've asked her to investigate that possibility with Danny. Why? On Danny's records, Nurse Graham's noticed you tried something along these lines once before. Well, it cropped up. But you didn't hear it. Very sensible, too. Well, with Danny's history, it was a very wise option. Some people dismiss the effects of food on behaviour as inconsequential, Mrs Phillips, often at their peril. With your permission, we'd like to start cutting out certain foods and then introducing them back gradually. It's called an elimination diet. Thank you, Nurse Graham's. The truth of it is that the obvious foods, cheese and chocolate, are well known to affect people with, say, migraine. Oh, but some likes. of the triggers are far more subtle. The only way to track them down is to put them to the test. Oh. We want to cut Danny's diet right down to basics and start from scratch. Well, if you think it's going to help. Well, it certainly won't do any harm. Let's put